Hello everybody. Welcome to uh, Commander Sketchbook. This is the first of these types of videos that I've ever done. Um, I'm doing this uh, goblin from this book by Scott Purdy uh, about how to draw, I think it's called how to draw goblinoids or it's called goblinoid something like that. There's a couple things I learned in making this video about camera angles and how I had to rotate it. Um, as you can see, I started off here with the uh, like standard shapes and stuff, and then I did pencils, I did inks. I also figured out that I have to order another battery uh, because it ended up going dead, and that's why there's breaks in it. Um, so yeah, this is really like a pilot. I guess I'll look back at this, and if I well, when I make more videos later on, I'll uh, hopefully I, I would have have progressed uh, substantially. Um, so yeah, here I'm just uh, pressing a little harder off the initial sketches. It's important to make your uh, initial sketches when you do your, your basic shapes uh, really light because you know you're going to erase them. Uh, I'm not, I don't consider myself the best artist. I, uh, I tend to need to have a, uh, I tend to need like a model or an image to draw. Um, my goal in doing these videos is really to kind of self-educate myself. I also, really, I'm an aspiring writer. I'd like, uh, I've been looking for an artist, but I know I'd have to pay somebody, and I just can't draw that well. Or at least, I mean, I don't know, you guys can be the judge, I guess. Um, but I never thought I'd, I had really the talent to draw uh, my own comic book. Um... I'm going to start with these like goblinoids and monsters and try and graduate to uh, superheroes, right? Because that's really what I need. I need monsters too, I guess, for bad guys, but mostly what I need is people. I think uh, drawing goblins and monsters like this, it's a little bit easier uh, just because you don't... Uh, I don't know, humans, if they're out of proportion, you can really tell, and it creates kind of a problem. Hold up here, let me increase these volume levels okay hopefully this is picking up my voice I don't know I I just got this new software and I actually had a huge problem I bought this thing called the snowball uh, the blue snowball and it was just horrible it didn't work it didn't pick anything up it was supposed to be plug-and-play and it never got recognized whatsoever by my uh, and by my PC so hopefully this is working uh, anyways, here I think I switched camera angles, and really the reason there's breaks is because the uh, Digicam that I'm using shuts off after 10 minutes. Maybe there's a setting. It's a really old Digicam. Um, I've been upgrading my, my hardware and my stuff slowly, little by little. Um, I'm, I'm really slow to change, I figure. Not like a lot of the younger kids. Um, the camera that I recorded this on is a Samsung. I don't even know what, what model this is. What is it? A Samsung uh, TL-105. And for whatever reason, it cuts off video recording every 10 minutes. So, here I'm finishing up the penciling. So, here, here's one thing I learned. that, that That's a bad angle because my hand's in the way. And uh, for the next video... Uh, uh, actually, partway through this video, I realized this because I think I watched back the clip and I was like, oh, my hand's in the way. You really want to see the pencil making contact with the uh, with the paper. I'm here. I have another set setting. Uh, still, you can't really see. Uh, partway through this video, I, uh, I switched to the other side. I was like, oh, they probably need to see. I do like how the hands came out. I... Uh, I don't draw on PC. I think I want to kind of refine my uh, my skills on on uh, on pen and paper uh, before I switch to PC because otherwise I feel like that could be a it's just I don't know you're gonna make waste all this time buying hardware to draw on PC and then just it's I want to refine it on pen and paper. And there's something about drawing on a computer that I just inherently don't like. I may do uh, computer coloring. I, I just, I don't know. 
but I, I do like the way they come out better when you color in computer. Um, when I switch to uh, coloring on this one, you're going to see uh, that uh, I use colored pencils, but still there's like white spots in it, and, eh, and I don't know. But I sped this up five times. Um, I didn't have narration over drawing. I think I'm going to try that next time and see how it works. Um, I actually had a YouTube video going on in the background, and nobody wants to listen to that. And if you want to know what it was, it was actually the uh, State of the Union speech. Um, I do like the way this guy came out. The, the legs I'm not too happy with. Um, but it's fine. I like the torso and the way the arms came out and the head. I think I made the the, the legs a bit too long uh, right from the get-go. But overall, it's, it's okay. Yeah, that light also gets uh, kind of a bit of glare. I'm really happy with the face. Oh, there you can't really see what I'm doing. I used to sketch a lot more often. Um, but I'm going to try and pick it back up as a hobby. I think that that left, yeah, that left ear, I, I kept starting over. I didn't like, yeah, I didn't like the way it was coming out. Then I even redid that side. It's called the cod piece, loincloth, it's that metal piece. I actually like the way, the shape of that. Oh, here I go with my inking. I used a, um, I used a Pilot, or actually, no, I don't think Pilot makes these. I used a Uniball Vision Elite. I don't know if Pilot makes those, but I, I like the way the ink flows off of that. It's very nice. And then I used some generic marker. I don't even know what it is. It's like, it's just, uh. Oh, it's a Pentel sign pen. That's what it is. That's what I use to darken like the big spots of black. For writing, um, I've been thinking of also using a G2 pen. I like those. But I feel like with these, you kind of get the flow where you can sort of control the thickness of the line, depending how hard you press, which is important for me. I tend to be kind of a scribbly um, drawer. Well, I probably should have turned this upside down, huh? I'll fix it. You guys are like, what? Upside down? <laughs> I guess I can go back and, as, as I'm recording this, this image you're looking at is, is upside down. So now I have to make a, a mental note to flip it around. When it comes to monsters, I really like drawing the faces. When it comes to people, I absolutely dread drawing faces. They always look like, uh, <laughs> the humans end up looking like monsters.
that's one of the things they say as well, even with CGI, is it's hard to break that in Canny Valley. It's a lot easier to do CGI animals and monsters, but there's, there's something about humans and the way they recognize facial expression that makes it a lot more difficult to animate uh, human faces. They're getting close, though. I think uh, St Star Wars... Uh, what was it? Was it Rogue One? Where um, they reanimated Grand Moff Tarkin? The actor that was dead. I'm sorry, I can't remember the actor's name. Oh, this is a terrible shot. Okay, mental, mental note. Good thing it's on five times speed. Yeah, see that type of control. I don't. I don't know what it'll be about a, a, what it is on a computer. That that latency just bothers me. I did buy a pad, uh, just just like a cheap forty dollar pad, and it it just you can press down on it with this plastic pen simulator thing, and it it's just a piece of crap. I don't know, maybe with better software, but I, I need a, I need, I can't draw down on a table and look at a monitor to see what I'm drawing. I need to see what I'm drawing. So I think I'm going to end up having to get one of those, one of those art pads, digital art pads, if anything. But that might not be till the summer. If you guys buy this book, I can't remember where I got it. I might have gotten it at Michael's or something. Um, this this example's in there. I was a little worried about the way the feet were going to come out, actually. Pretty satisfied. I think it was it was a Jim Lee that always had trouble drawing feet, or or is it the other guy? What's his name? The guy who did Deadpool and Cable and all those guys. I can't remember his name. There's the Pentel sign pen. It's great for this. That little paper that I have underneath. I'm not tracing anything. That uh, that image you see is actually a one of the commanders from Starcraft. It's it's just you get a free notepad. And it kind of has that design in there. The, the reason I have it underneath is because I didn't want the ink to bleed through to the uh, to the page that was underneath. Not because of the pilot, but because of that sign pen. It's actually pretty good with not bleeding through. Yeah, you can see if you pause it there, that's a picture of the commander. That's all that all that is. I'm not, I'm not tracing. Those images you saw there quickly, one of them is from a Casualties album, from the, uh, it's actually printed on the CD back when they were CDs, like 20 years ago, 15 years ago, whatever it was, 19 years ago maybe, and another one was from a White Zombie album, I think it's from Astro Creep 2000, I really like the artwork of Rob Zombie. Here the video starts to speed up a little bit. Not a, uh, not like faster than five times, but here's where like the battery kept dying. So you're gonna see the image really jump from like slightly colored in to very colored in to like boom, boom, boom. And suddenly it's done, and that's just because of the battery issue that it kept dying.
So this, the coloring part is what really uh, would attract me to the computer. Because you don't end up with the kind of... Uh, it's fuller and richer, I'll say. You always end up with... You know, those kind of... Um, I don't know, I'm sure there's a technical artist term for it. But like those white discontinuities in color versus something a bit more rich. And also it's more forgiving on a computer. Everything's more forgiving. I actually like the way that the yellow looked. I used pine green, standard green, lime green, no not lime green, yellow green, and I think this was like yellow brown or something. I feel like I should have pressed a bit harder. I can see from here there's like little impurities in the color. I sort of try to fill those in with the yellow. Yeah, I do like the way that blended together. Yep, and there it is. Alright guys, let me know what you think. Did you like this video? Did you uh, like this sketch? Like and subscribe. Bye.